Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial from SysAdmin102 In today's video, I will show you how to install Fedora Workstation 39 on Apple Silicon Chip, uh, Apple M1, M2 or M3 using UTM uh, Like always, at the end of the tutorial, if you think it's helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share And let's get started So first, you will need to download the Fedora Workstation 39, the link will be included in the descriptions, including this uh, printed tutorial. So you can select uh, download, and that will uh, pop up the download page for Fedora. And you would select the uh, Fedora Workstation 39 Lite ISO, and make sure that's for ARM system because we're gonna run it on uh, Apple Silicon chip which is a uh, ARM and I already have it downloaded uh, next step make sure that you have a UTM installed uh, you can either download the installation image from a uh, github or you can download it straight from the uh, Apple store for the Apple store it's a nine dollar it kind of like a donation to help the UTM team develop uh, however if you want a free version you can download it from uh, github and uh, next step you're gonna create a virtual machine so you can select the ask icon and then you're gonna select uh, virtual line and you will select uh, linux since fedora is uh, a linux distro and next you're gonna select you apple virtualization so even though it's, uh, it's experimental i have some issue with running fedora on uh, uh, QEMU, so I found it uh, a lot easier and a lot more stable using on an Apple virtualizations. So that's what we're gonna go with. And then um, for the boot ISO image, you would browse to the Fedora ISO file that you downloaded and continue. And here you will select the memory. Uh, I'm gonna keep everything at the default. You can change this later on in the setting. Same thing, I'm gonna keep the storage size as a default. One thing to keep in mind, you can always expanding the size, but you cannot uh, shrink the size to the smaller size. So I will keep a default setting, and uh, later on, if you wanna extend the file size, you can do so. Share directory is optional. You can select a share directory. You can select it now, or you can select it uh, post installations. Uh, for example, I'm going to select download as the share directory. And you have the option to change this. If not, it's going to use the default name Linux. So I'm going to call it Fedora 39 ARM. Alright, and once you've done that, we're going to start the installation process. Okay. And we're going to select the first option and press enter. All right. And we're going to select uh, install Fedora. And I'm going to leave uh, as a uh, default English. English. However, you're going to pick whatever uh, location or language applicable to you. And we're going to select uh, installation destinations. And obviously we only have one. So I'm going to select done. And then we're going to select uh, begin installations. It does take a while to install Fedora. So you can sit back, relax and wrap a cup of coffee while waiting. All right. And now that's the installation is finished. We're going to select finish the installations. And then we're gonna power down. All right, and next we're gonna select the Fedora that we just created, and then we're gonna clear the external drive so that's why it's not gonna pop up the um, installation uh, ISO anymore. Alright, and let's start Fedora.
All right, and we're gonna select star setup. And you can enable location services or uh, the reporting, but I'm gonna keep it off. And you have an option to enable third party repo, or you can skip it. All right, here uh, you can, you have an option to um, connect with your online account, or you can skip it as well. Uh, and by the way, any of this you can do it at uh, post installation. You don't have to necessarily do it now. And then you give it a name. And next, you will read a uh, password. All right, and that's it. All done. Start using it. You have an option to select to take a tour or no thanks. All right. To in order to access uh, the docking for Fedora, you can either either select a spotlight right here. Or you can uh, on your Mac keyboard you will select the command key and that will bring up the docking on the bottom so keep in mind that for um, post installations uh, everything is working except for the uh, share folder if you want to use the share for a directory you have to mount the share directory and I'll show you how to do that so you can open up the file and I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call it share. All right. And next, you're gonna open up uh, a terminal. So the command gonna be included in my uh, tutorial. It should be under the last step, the share directory. So you can copy that one. All right. And then for the share directory, it's going to be uh, home, and then your username, and then that folder, and enter your password. All right, and now you see the share folder is coming up. So this actually linked with my Mac, so any file in here, uh, I'll able to see it uh, within the Fedora. Keep in mind that all the file, if you delete it within a Fedora, it will not go to the trash. It will completely gone from your system. And so is the Mac OS. So this one way to mount a folder, it will be uh, resetting after you restart. So when you restart, it will automatically unmount the uh, folder. There is a permanent way to do it. And I'll show you how to just how to do that as well. All right, so second way we can ask the light why we can ask the setting into the um, fs tab file and that will automatically uh, mount the directory all right and we we'll go to the last line so it's going to be share and then a mount point So the mail point for this is going to be uh, home and then my username. And then it's going to be share. All right. And we're going to copy that last part. And there we go. You're going to press Control X to access and Y for yes and enter. That will save the file. Okay, and now let's uh, test it out by restarting the system. Okay, let's lock back in. Alright, let's open up the file. And as you see, the share is automatically mail. So, that concluded today's tutorial. If you think the video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.